Yeah, the competition is actually underway. We just saw all the vehicles leave the trash yard here and head out onto the streets of Detroit. And while that call was for pickup trucks, we also saw some other vehicles who are able to haul trash. They're part of the competition, too. And the whole idea is to gather as much trash as you can. Now, there are certain regulations, certain things that the city dump and other places will accept. So they do have certain rules to follow and a time limit to follow it in. The organizer, Tom Nardone, he's been seen organizing uh, trash fishing, fishing trash out of the city of Detroit. Bye. <laughs> We've got uh, a lot of people coming by here today. And of course, uh, Tom Nardone said as he was driving through the streets preparing, uh, he noticed that there was trash on the street. So he wanted to get this competition going. Here's Tom Nardone. We're having an event. We're all going out with our pickup trucks. We're going to gather as much trash and debris as we can. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You never know what you're going to find out here. Like you might find some sort of uh, kerosene can or diesel can. We found two tequila bottles today. He is awarding prizes for who gets the most trash, who finds the most unusual trash, the biggest piece of trash, the heaviest trash item, the weirdest or grossest trash. And he does have some recycled trophies to give out as prizes. He said he just wanted to have a fun way to do something good in the city and give back. And since so many summer events have been canceled, he thought this would be a fun scavenger hunt to get people out and about while still maintaining social distance and working within their own car yet working together reporting live in Detroit. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson 7 Action News.